Hi guys, Norman Duke here making a commentary video for Napoleon Total War. I'm playing as Great Britain while my opponent is playing as Prussia and we're playing on the Waterloo map. My army is composed of two uh, horse artillery batteries, four units of light dragoons with double chevrons, four regiment uh, companies, sorry, <laughs> of the King's General Legion foot, four companies of riflemen, my general's uh, staff, a series of black watch and a unit of the 88 foot. Here it is. <coughs> when my opponent uh, is playing pressure, yes, uh, lots of cav, yes, one, one unit of zars, two, unit, two units of zars, and two units of dragoons, yes, uh, two units of horse artillery, yes, I believe four units of Schwetzen, yes. Units of the musketeers, these two units of militia, and three foot guards unit, and come one years old as his general. And here it's we started a fight, cavalry fight. But unfortunately, I did not notice I was already in range of his Schwetzen, which are deadly accurate skirmishers. So I guess I took some shots, and I, I did not notice in all this confusion. But he actually had one unit to spare, and he's sparing it against my artillery, so I will lose this unit. And here things are not going too well, because my man has Chevron, but uh, some of his men also do not believe, no they don't. But in any case, uh, although they don't have Chevron, these guys will do a good job, uh, and do a lot of harm to my poor light dragoons. So well, I will manage to do some damage, but not quite enough. So here I am pushing forward with everything I got. And I want to reach the, the top of his hill to gain a position advantage. Uh, this is one of those battles where my cab gets butchered at the start, <laughs> in the beginning. Our men are running I don't know why I have such um, a bad way to use cab. But I don't know. Yeah, however, I am moving my surviving uh, battery to shoot his flanks. And this is the real advantage of horse artillery. They are not a most accurate artillery in the game, not the most powerful, they do not have longest range, but they are really good mobility, so you can reposition them everywhere you need in a very short time. And what's happening here? He is going for my infantry with his uh, surviving units gap, but I form into square, or I will try to form into square. I am shooting him, but I am shooting uh, the ground. Here, now I form into square. I move forward to get a better positioning. While here I am shooting the flanks. I believe. Yeah. They are reloading. My men are reloading their cannons. These musketeers run away, and these are not faring too well. Here is Cav uh, is getting destroyed. It looks like he has no more units of Cav, so my dragoons did something. I arrived with this other unit of musketeers. And for some reason, he is keeping his uh, foot guards on reserve instead of employing them in the first line. I don't really know why some people do this, I mean keep units in reserve in Napoleon. This is uh, kind of useless because, okay, you have reserves, well I will shoot your first wave of troops with everything I got, then you come in with your reserve, I shoot them with everything, and you lose. <laughs> so don't keep reserves in Napoleon, use everything you have. Here he was trying to flank me with skimishers, but I switched my two companies face these guys here. And uh, while here I am moving to surround him because he lost these two infantry units, one of them recovered. Here we are. 
fresh uniforms are really like uh, look like French ones, really, with all of the blue. And the nice thing is that on the actual um, Waterloo, some British, um, sir, uh, how, how would you say, ah, recognition uh, explorers, I don't know, actually um, saw some Prussians, which were their allies, in uh, the fog and mistook them for French people, <laughs> so they shot them for a few minutes. In any case, these musketeers have gone as well. He moved uh, these guys here, this flank. But it looks like they are getting shot by my skirmishers. And here I moved again. Since I had advanced the, my main line of battle. This is a. I already told you, but this is the great advantage of horse artillery. You move your line of battle, you move your artillery as well. It moves with everything else. These musketeers are getting slaughter, sorry for that. But they more, they recover them more health for some reason. They were also not as long as I know. Now, you know, on this flank, I lost this, this unit. Probably because of gunshot, yeah. My. Have a King's General Legion company is doing well against the skirmishers. For some reason, his uh, his skirmishers morale was so high they almost never ran away. It took really ages. On the contrary, this uh, this militia is getting shot from all directions. So uh, they will run pretty soon. My men are shooting. Now targeting this musketeer CR who recovered. Because I did not want them to return to a fight and so I tried to make them run again. Yeah, there's also this <laughs> this relatively uh, big unit of musketeers recovered. I can see I am the at present, I'm a master of the battlefield because I control it. And uh, well, I don't know why they're creeping up. Sorry, why they're creeping up like this? Really? They are going to shift, not to creep. What? Yeah, these poor guys are. I don't know why they're moving this way. Oh, man, shot for a while. This is gonna be his uh, musketeers. Tried to get my cannons, but they ran away. And now he has moved these guys here, but they will just get destroyed by my cannons and riflemen and everything else. This uh, is sending him with uh, Schwetzen units. A big shot. I need infantry as well because I'm moving forward. I am shifting his company uh, here to contrast his flanking. And what else? He moved forward. But I move forward my rangers who are almost untouched. And they're still too far away. <laughs> so they won't shoot anyone. But this unit is shooting. Cannons are reloaded. My cannons did really a good job in this battle. Well, <laughs> was it survived. As you can see, he still has his foot guards here. 